Hello everyone and welcome to SUNUP. I'm Lyndall Stout. It is a problem that can occur anytime in the summer and early fall months and it's happening as we speak. We're talking about prussic acid. Today, OSU Extension veterinarian Dr. Barry Whitworth gets us up to speed. There have been reports in different areas of the state of cattle producers losing cattle uh, to cyanide or prussic acid toxicity. And uh, some of those producers have expressed some surprise uh, since we've had a relatively abundance of moisture this year in the state of Oklahoma. I know there's been some areas that have been dry. But I also think if you look back at some of the mesonet reports, uh, some of these areas have had uh, some dry periods, you know, 21, 28 days of no rain. As well during that time, uh, our temperatures uh, were very elevated. Anytime we get conditions like that, that can stress these plants that are in the sorghum family, and especially Johnson grass. So you can have problems with cyanide toxicity, even though you would think it wouldn't be a problem this time, but this, particularly this year. When the plant gets stressed, that's when we see this, uh, the precursors to the cyanide and prussic acid uh, are concentrated. So when we have any damage to the plant, those products are going to be released. So when a cow comes along uh, and eats some of that plant that breaks down, that cyanide's released, it's going to be absorbed into the bloodstream. It's going to prevent cells from uptaping oxygen. So these animals are going to die of a asphyxiation. So typically the clinical signs you're going to see, these animals initially are going to start to get weak. They're going to tremble probably go down. Uh, initially, they'll breathe rather hard. Um, that's going to slow down. You may see excess salivation. And, and eventually, these cattle are going to uh, basically just die because they don't get oxygen to their cells, and they're just going to die. When we look at plants in the sorghum family, especially like Johnson grass, you're going to see most of the toxin is going to be in that young vegetative growth. Um, so if the plant has been grazed or mowed and that new growth that's coming out, that's the plants that are going to be the most dangerous. Uh, there are other things that can, can contribute to that uh, toxin, especially if we over fertilize with nitrogen and phosphorus, we can have more problems with the plant. When a producer decides that they're going to change pastures and put cattle out into a new pasture, they ought to go out and scout that pasture, um, make sure they don't see any uh, signs or, or any plants in there that they think could be a problem. Um, also remember um, that to be safe, uh, you may want to turn a cow out and see what happens. Um, the other thing is don't ever turn hungry cattle out onto a new pasture. Uh, we do have ways of testing the plants to see uh, basically uh, if they have uh, cyanide or prussic acid issues, if you will contact uh, your local county extension educator, they can assist you with that testing. For more information, go to the SUNUP website.